Tonight, San Diego is dealing with the aftermath of the latest round of storms to hit. This is video flooding from National City today. This is what it looked like in other areas of the county today, Santee, Escondido and Pacific Beach. In the city of San Diego, a state of emergency is in effect. And just moments ago, the county proclaimed a local emergency. We have team coverage tonight following today's storm with live reports coming up from the hardest hit areas. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. We're going to go out to Jasmine Ramirez with the city of San Diego's response to the rain in just a bit. But first, CBS 8's chief meteorologist Carleen Chavis is here with what we can expect next after this just wet, wet day. A lot lighter rainfall. Now we're still seeing an active radar out there as we do have some pockets of moderate rainfall and some light stuff, but it's nothing compared to what we dealt with earlier today. So when we take a look at those totals of where we have been over the last three days, we were saturated when that storm system came plowing through earlier this morning. We had already had some rain and now adding to it, we had a lot more. Most of that did fall earlier this morning and most of the county saw more than two inches of rainfall. So when you look at what we had for today, those are just today's totals alone as of earlier this evening. So we are still looking at some more rain that's going to be in the works for tonight. And we recap some of those records. You're talking about records for a lot of the county. So we're talking about San Diego, the city of San Diego, also Oceanside Harbor, Vista, Chula Vista, El Cajon. There was record breaking rain across the county. Now when we gear up for the rest of the night, we're going to be talking about a lot lighter activity as we do have that radar starting to pick up on some of that moisture that is out there that's going to continue to linger as we hit tonight's forecast. So we're still holding on to some pockets of moderate to light rain. As mentioned, nothing as heavy as what we have already been dealing with. So we'll go ahead and set the clock in motion and also talk about a couple more days we could see some uh, light precipitation out there. All those details coming up. Marcella. Thanks, to keep up with the very latest weather conditions and alerts on the go, download our free CBS 8 app from Google Play or the Apple App Store. A state of emergency is in effect in San Diego tonight because of the extreme rain and flooding. Mayor Todd Gloria made the announcement for the city earlier this evening. Logan Heights is another area where residents saw their homes and cars flooded by heavy rainfall. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez joins us live there in the neighborhood and shows us more. Jasmine. Well, tonight we're really just seeing the aftermath of the storm. There's this really thick layer of mud covering the sidewalks as well as the streets. Now, earlier today, water came flooding down the street and it came about halfway up on these cars and flooded everyone's homes. Take a listen. Goodness. Tonight we saw inside the homes near 33rd Street and Ocean View in Logan Heights. We've just been shoveling water for six hours, eight hours. Many of their cars are no longer working from the floodwaters. They showed us photos when the water was at its highest point. What was it like for you to see that happening? Scary. You were worried about your chicken? Oh. And all of this was just washed up. Carolyn didn't want to show her face on camera, but says she's lived in her home for more than 50 years. Everything is just soaked. Today, her 95 year old mother was stuck on her chairlift inside as the flooding began. The city is responsible for this whole mess, mm -hmm. and that's all I have to say. She feared clogged drains on their street would result in extreme flooding like we saw today. I went to the mayor's office, I went to District 8, I called Stormwater, I even called Caltrans. What's happening? We're parallel to the Children's Creek, okay? And if stuff back up there, it will flow over in here. Tonight, we brought her concerns to Mayor Todd Gloria. So our stormwater department performs this work all year round. He says the city deployed employees to clear stormwater drains and complete other prep work prior to this storm. I think what's happened today was an extraordinary amount of rain in a very short amount of time, and that's something that we need to continue to uh, work on. He says the emergency declaration will help the city access money that can help with response. The city has also activated its emergency operations center. The American Red Cross has also set up an evacuation center at Lincoln High School for people who have been displaced by the flooding. Just uh, uh, praying for everybody out there. hope you guys uh, get everything back safe and hope this doesn't happen again. <laughs> And tonight I did reach out to the city's stormwater department to get more information about the drains and the flooding in this area, and they said they are working to get us those details. Reporting live, Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.
Thanks, Jasmine. Today's heavy rains created treacherous conditions on local highways and for a time turned many roadways into rivers. The worst of the rain is behind us, as Carlene said. CBS 8's Richard Allen is live along the 15 in Miramar with how it looks out there right now. Richard. Well, Carlo, that's right. This deluge of rain we got here in San Diego in such a short period of time led to major flooding on our local freeways and other roads. And while traffic is flowing freely once again, earlier today in many parts of the county, it was a far different story. Because you could barely see the, the car in front of you. It was really bad. For drivers like Alfonso Fernandez, who had to be out on the roads today, the freeways were at times a terrifying scene filled with flooding, near misses, and accidents. All these cars, like, like I said, just one right after the other, and then one semi over here, the other semi right over there. It, it, it seemed to me like everything was just happening all at once at the same time. Many freeways, like this stretch of the I-15 near Ocean View, provided no match for Mother Nature, as the heavy rains quickly flooded the surface, bringing traffic to a standstill for miles with frustrated drivers getting out of their cars and Caltrans workers waist deep in muddy water doing their best to unclog the roadway. And along the northbound 805 at Imperial, the freeway looked more like a river with some vehicles managing to make it through and others flooded out and brought to a complete stop. In North County, rising floodwaters quickly made the 78 freeway impassable in both directions, with CHP shutting down east and westbound lanes from El Camino Real to College Boulevard for most of the day, leading to a massive backup as cars tried to detour onto surface streets. Uh, I want to say to San Diegans right now, and I cannot stress this enough, if you don't need to travel, uh, please don't do so. Monday night, as Mayor Todd Gloria declared a citywide state of emergency, he also urged all drivers who do have to be on the roadways to obey all traffic signals and warning signs. But when we shut down a road, we're serious. Uh, we do that for your safety and the safety of other San Diegans. Every time one of our first responders has to rescue a vehicle or a driver uh, in one of these situations, is a moment of a first responders not available to help someone else. And for the latest on road closures by the city of San Diego, we have a link to that. Just go to CBS8.com, click on the help button. Carlo and Marcella. Thanks, Richard. Flood damage is expected to affect trolley service tomorrow morning. MTS says it needs to make repairs and that will cause delays on all three trolley lines. Right now, the blue line is still running its full length between San Isidro and UTC. However, the green line is only running from 12th and Imperial Station to Alvarado and 70th Street. The orange line is operating only between Lemon Grove, Amaya and La Mesa. A bus shuttle, though, is running on that orange line to help cover the other stops. This is what it looked like today in Tijuana. Emergency crews performed many rescues after vehicles got stuck in floodwaters there. There are also reports of landslides and power outages. Shelters have been set up for people who were forced out of their homes due to all of the flooding. For students, the Baja California government canceled classes tomorrow across the state. The Mountain View area remains one of the hardest hit here in San Diego. People living along 42nd Street had their homes ruined in the floodwaters. Patio furniture and even cars were swept away by the rushing water. Meanwhile, some people were forced to climb out of second story windows to be rescued from their homes. Fire crews have been working in this area all day looking for anyone who needs help. They say as many as 200 people needed assistance in just this one area alone. New tonight, check out this video shared earlier this evening by the San Diego Fire Department. Firefighters and lifeguards performed dozens of rescues today. This one was caught on camera. Captain Aaron Boyd spotted someone in the water near Friars Road under Interstate 5. You see, he throws a save a life disc. His aim was perfect. He then used the rope to pull the man who was out in the water to safety. Uh, he was able to make that rescue and we're told pull the man in Go safely. Back, the the water from the day distorted the view on the lens a little bit, but good news there. There were many rescues across San Diego today. Border agents and San Diego Fire Rescue say they rescued seven migrants near the Tijuana River Valley. They were stuck on an embankment under a bridge after crossing illegally. In Santee, this woman was trapped, clinging to a tree in rising waters. The rushing water made this rescue difficult, with crews using a ladder to reach her and get her into a life vest before pulling her to safety. This all took about 45 minutes. She is expected to be okay. And in Pacific Beach, crews rescued several people, and this dog used a surfboard to get him out. Drivers ignored the rising waters and drove through flooded streets. Their cars stalled out. 
and they got stuck triggering those rescues. Cleanup in the meantime is the word of the night in Southcrest, where one apartment complex was hit particularly hard. CBS 8's Esmeralda Perez talked to people trying to salvage what they can and joins us live from the neighborhood. Esmeralda. That's right, Carlo. Now, the people that lived in these apartments uh, building right behind me in the lower units have all had to leave uh, because uh, their whole homes were all flooded with water and debris. And I mean, I, I got a chance to speak with many of them and they tell me that they didn't expect to be in this situation. Broken windows, valuables destroyed and debris flooded the streets as heavy rain moves through San Diego. Disaster. It's the best way to put it, but yeah, just everything's everywhere. Everything's uh, out of place, flipped over and wet. Take a look at this home in South Crest. The bottom half collapsed into dirt. City crews were cleaning up as best they could. This is like only in a movie. This trolley sign in Encanto completely knocked down. Meanwhile, many cars were pushed by floodwaters, some ramming into fences. Unbelievable. I'm still looking at the positions of the cars. This is like unreal. I've never seen anything like this. Tonight, residents in the South Crest neighborhood are cleaning up the damage after heavy downpour hit their homes. Knocked down utility boxes cut off power to hundreds of people in the area. It happened really fast. I kept getting electrocuted. I kept getting shocked. Water filled these apartments along Logan Avenue. Abe Stapleton is a resident here. His home flooded. As you can see, the fridge knocked over. Debris everywhere and water marks on the walls. He was home when floodwaters broke the windows and gushed in. And it was this high. You know, and I, I just had enough time to grab my cat and then I took him out. Some people weren't home when the heavy rainfall made its way to their home. One resident I spoke with tonight was at work and came to find out his valuables were all damaged. It's shocked because then you see all my tools and that's all the money makers right there. Residents in this apartment complex are now looking to see where they could spend the night. Yeah, just trying to find somewhere to stay and just take my valuables, what I can salvage, yeah. Yeah, well, you heard it there. Many don't know what comes next for them as in regards to their living situation. And uh, many residents did tell me that for now they're going to spend the night with family and friends. I'm live in South Crest. Esmeralda Perez, CBS 8. Back to you.